I'm Congressman Steve King, representing Iowa's 4th Congressional District, and I wanted to remind you today, this is Unhappy Tax Day, April 15th, the date that all producing Americans are obligated to have our taxes in. And maybe if you're a farmer, you filed it earlier, and maybe if you're a corporation, you've got a, you've got a fiscal year that's different than this one. But all the rest of us, myself included, we get to have this Unhappy Tax Day here on April 15th. And I've long been for the fair tax. That is an abolishment of all corporate and personal income tax, uh, any death taxes, any capital gains taxes and excise taxes, abolish them all and turn it into a national sales tax on sales and service for personal consumption only. After all, we who consume are the one that pay the taxes anyway. Whenever we buy something built into the price of whatever we purchase, a cup of coffee or a new car, is an average of about 22% of embedded, hidden in the price taxes that are put in there by the corporation or the company that's producing the product because they have to pay their taxes too. And so I want to abolish the Internal Revenue Code. I want to eliminate the IRS and I want to replace it with a national retail sales tax. And I've talked about this for a long time. It's still in the dialogue here in Washington. We are doing some work on real tax reform this year. I'm hopeful we'll get real tax reform done. And I've just described the kind that I want and the kind I'll continue to work for. So even though this is unhappy tax day, something that makes me happy when I think about it is abolishing the IRS and giving you back your freedom this day and every day to you make your decisions on when you pay your taxes, when you make a purchase, in the personal uh, retail and sales and service tax and if we can get there the dynamic in improvement in our economy is almost unfathomable i sat down with former chairman of the fed alan greenspan a few years ago to talk about the fair tax and i asked him if all the things that i had been saying out of, saying about it are true and right and correct and does it do all the economic stimulus that i described he answered yes you keep saying all of those things, but remember, we need an incentive for savings and investment. The fair tax provides also an incentive for savings and investment. So I put that all into one package and just delivered it this way. With the approval of Chairman Greenspan, by the way, the fair tax does a national retail sales and service tax that abolishes the IRS and taxes only personal consumption, not business costs and input. It does everything good that everybody's tax policy does that is good, it does them all, and it does them all better. And so I want you to think about that, and let's get there so that we can make this day, April 15th, just another day and have our freedom back. So unhappy tax day, let's one day look back on this date, April 15th, as, as the date we no longer have to step up and make sure we've filed our income tax to the federal government.